Mexico Canadian School in Guadalajara. Our project is bringing awareness to the people of Mexico about the cost of the Mayan train, of the deforestation and habitat loss. We have prepared our posters and, pro and art projects with recycled materials to bring the attention on how to reduce paper usage. Mayan train. What is the Mayan train? The Mayan train is an electric train that is unique and designed to be comfortable and to discover the Mexican culture. What are the benefits of it? The benefit of Mayan train will help you build a part of life for people who have more choice decisions and create thousands of jobs. But unfortunately, there are many negative things about it. Let's talk about it. Why is the Mayan train bad for the environment? The Mayan train is bad for the environment because it threatens the viability of the Great Mayan Aquifer, which provides drinking water for millions of Mexicans. The construction also caused lots of deforestation, which means the loss of animals' habitats. So, up next, we will talk about the animals who have been affected by the Mayan train. We hope that you learned something in this presentation and spread awareness. This is our diorama of the Mayan train in Mexico. On this side, we made a representation on how the land looked before the Mayan train was built. You can see lots of plants and animals here. And on the other side, we made a representation on how the land looked after the construction of, of the Mayan train. There are lots of cut trees, dead animals, and dead plants. Here in the middle, you can see the Mayan train. Guacamayas in the Mayan train. Our main topic is how guacamayas have been affected by the Mayan train. What are guacamayas? Guacamayas are a species of cetaphorms, birds of the cetacide family. Their names are usually are macaws, guacamayas, lapas, or guacas. How many years can guacamayas live? Guacamayas can live up to 60 years in nature, while their counterparts in captivity can live from 35 to 50 years. It's important to bring awareness to this topic to avoid the possibility of the Mayan train extending and developing more tracks that could cause habitat loss and more deforestation. After Guacamaya's presentation, we have our diorama, a Guacamaya's habitat. It includes everything a real Guacamaya habitat. It has palm trees, bushes, a lake, and a Guacamaya. Thank you for listening to our project. We hope you learned something. by Fabiana, Alisa, and Emilia. The Jaguar habit has been destroyed and has been a lot of deaths because of the Maya train. What solutions we can bring up? We can bring, up, we can bring awareness of local and tourists about the issue. It is important for us to be aware of the consequences of the recreational activities. Why the government did this? The government do this because his main focus, unfortunately, has been make money and doesn't care about the habits of the jaguars and other animals. It is important to make a change because we need to care more for, for the jaguars and we need we need to prevent their extinction. This is our diagrama that shows what jaguars habitat can, can change or not change, and this is the natural. After the the Mayan train problem. Thank for your attention. Cenotes. What are cenotes? Cenotes are a natural pit or sinkhole resulting when a collapse of Limestone or bedrock exposes groundwater. Why cenotes are affected by the Mayan train? Two parts emphasize the modification of the Mayan train. The tree wood, which now causes forests with calcium, nick, and car soil, has caused damage to delicate aquifer systems that plays a vital role in the water. Tree. What cenotes were affected by the Mayan train? Most of cenotes in Chiapas, Campeche, Tabasco, Yucatán, and Quintana Roo were affected by the Mayan train. What is happening with cenotes in Mexico? 
with, with the pass of the Mayan trail are destroying large rocks that cover all the cenotes order to pass the, the train Maya over the rocks. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. 